you mind if I sit down? Oh, no, by all means, sit down. Are you feeding the birds? Oh, no, I don't like birds. Oh, what are you feeding then? Ants. ants. I'm feeding the ants. But you can't feed ants great peanuts like that. Why can't you? Well, I mean, you've got to shell them, obviously, haven't you? No, you don't. They love a challenge. Ants love a challenge. The harder life is, the better they like. <laughs> you certainly seem to know a lot about ants. Oh, I do. You see, I come into the park every day. I always sit on this seat. This is the low seat. All the other seats are too high. You can't see anything. You look down on their backs. You can't see underneath. I like ants. Oh, me too. I mean, I don't dislike them. I'm just, you know, a bit impersonal towards them, that's all. <laughs> well, that's all right, then. <laughs> you know, I had an ant once. Yeah, I had an ant. A funny little fella. Funny little fella. Twelve feet he had. Twelve feet, yeah, twelve feet, yeah. But he only had one feeler. Oh, poor little thing. He got crushed during the war. Oh, I know, lots of them lost their lives during the war, didn't they? And they're still dying every day by their thousands. I know, people just don't watch where they walk. <laughs> oh, look, look, it's, it's Bluey and Curly and some of the fellas. Hello, fellas, it's me, Neil. <laughs> Hope you like the peanuts. Oh, go on. <laughs> go on. <laughs> You're so polite. I suppose there's nothing like a polite ant, is there? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't think I'd travel anywhere without an ant or two, somewhere on your person. I see you got ants in your pocket. I got ants, ants in your shirt. <laughs> ants by the thousands, even in your underpants. You like ants. Oh, I love ants. I know you like ants. I adore ants. <laughs> I suppose you're wondering why I wear these high-heeled shoes. <laughs> yes, I did wonder why. It's because I give them a chance. With this tiny heel, my feet, they won't feel. But when you're in your boots, or in your rubber thongs, with every step you take, you leave destruction in your wake. It's not fair. I know. You just don't know you might be treading on, do you? With one step, you could eliminate a whole symphony orchestra. A careless leap and you've crushed a palace or a church. A statesman or a doctor. A Picasso or a Rubens. Squashed in the peak of his career. How could you do it? How could you do it? You know, coming into the park every day, sitting here on the low seat, watching the ants in the natural frolics, I never get embarrassed. That's why I always sit on the low seat. In the park, I watch your ants from the low seat in the park. I watch his tiny ants, even in the dark. Oh, I like to see them rolling round and round. I like to see them frolicking on the ground in their natural environment. I don't like to see ants licking themselves in people's lounge rooms, do you? Oh, no, that's not nature. No. I've got to go. I've got a bus to catch. Bye. Oh, no. No, but you can't go. Why? Because between this seat and your bus stop, there are thousands of tiny little lives. Think of it. Slaughter worse than Genghis Khan. Think of all the orphans, the homeless, and the maimed. How could you do it? How could I do it? Then we're trapped. We're trapped by our own humanity. They will not forget us. And in the evening, and the going down of the sun, they will remember.